In this video, we will talk about ternary form. The word ternary comes from the Latin ternarius, meaning consisting of three. The Oxford Dictionary, Grove Music Online, defines ternary form as a tripartite musical form, usually symbolized as ABA. Therefore, ternary form has three sections, the original material, A, followed by contrasting material, B, and then a return to the original material, A. If the final section returns exactly the same as the first, it is called A, but it can also be changed on its return. When it is a bit different, it is labeled A prime. The B section is usually different or contrasting in some way. The most common changes are different musical material. There could be new melodic material or new instrumentation, a new tempo or a new style of playing. A change in the key. If the piece starts in a major key, the new key is usually the dominant. If the piece starts in a minor key, the new key is usually the relative major. But the new key can be any key, so we diagram it as this. In ternary form, the three sections are usually tonally closed. They begin and end on tonic. Therefore, our textbook diagram for ternary form is as shown below. Now let's look at an example of a piece in ternary form. Schumann's Album for the Young, Trauerliedchen, or Humming Song. Let's listen to the piece. In this piece, we hear three parts. The first section starts in measure one and ends in measure eight. We will call this A. We hear this material return from measure 17 to measure 24. If we compare measure 17 to measure 24 to the first eight measures, we find that they are almost exactly the same. The only difference is an A5 added in measure 22. Since this is a very small difference, we will call this section A, not A prime. We can diagram what we have so far as the following. Now let's look at the material in the middle from measures nine to 16. The material for measures 9 to 16 looks similar to the A material, but has some very important differences. First of all, the key. The piece begins in the key of C major. At measure 8, there is a final cadence in C, an authentic cadence. At the return of the A material, it is again in the key of C major, and the piece finishes in C major. In measure 9, however, we start seeing F sharps. and there is an authentic cadence in the key of G in measure 16. When we listen to this section, we hear the music in the key of G instead of C. Because of this difference in the key, we will call this section B and label the key change in our diagram. Now our diagram looks like this. Because each section begins and ends on the tonic in its key, it is a closed or sectional form. In summary, ternary form is a three-part form that is usually closed or sectional, meaning that each section begins and ends on tonic. 
The textbook form can be diagrammed as shown below. The presentation of the thematic material, section A, that begins and ends on tonic in the key of the piece. A middle section, B, with contrasting material, that begins and ends on tonic in another key. And the return of the A material, again beginning and ending on the tonic in the key of the piece.